what do you tell yourself half an hour, 15, 10, mm-hmm. five, two minutes before you step into that octagon? What do you exactly. tell yourself? Exactly that. It's funny you say that. And you said that exactly on time. Before I walk out, about 15 minutes, we, we play, start playing some music. It's like my team know that this is the time I do this as well. Um, they'll put on whatever it is, Land Down Under, um, some familiar songs. Because uh, uh, I sit there and I end up, I like march around in a circle. And I tell myself, you know, I used to say it to myself, but now I say it out loud because I want to, I want to, I don't care who's hearing it. I want to, you know, I want to feel it. I wanna, it's real. I sit there and I'm like, there's no way he's taking that belt away from my family. I've worked too hard. You know, my family sacrificed too much. My team sacrificed too much. We've all sacrificed too much for led to let him take it away from me. There's no way he's worked harder than me. So I sit there and I, I'd say that, you know, like I remind myself why I'm in there, why I can't lose, why I need to stick to a game plan, why I can't be scared. Why I can't be fearful? Why I can't worry about all these things? Who Stop being selfish. Stop worrying about that. Stop worrying about you getting hurt or you, you know what I mean? Or, or, or all things like that. It's bigger than that. And that's how I look at it. I remind myself that, yeah, in a well, in a, I'm not a very self, self, I'm selfish man. So I look at that as being selfish, me being fearful and being scared to do something that's, you know, that, that can affect me winning. You know what I mean? So... It's uh, it's funny because that's what I do. I march around and I, I remind myself why I need to go out there and need to stick to a game plan and do what I need to do. And uh, yeah, that's why I can stay so composed because I, I, I don't give myself any other option. You spoke about your family numerous times. How, how old are your kids? Six and four. Well, congratulations. Almost uh, seven and five. Yeah. Okay, so which is a beautiful thing. You, you've got a, a wife that you've been with since you were a teenager. Your kids are probably too young. How do you deal with the worry of your wife? The, the, the concern she has for her husband, the man she loves, the father of her children, getting in there and potentially being really, really badly hurt. I think because we, we, we grew up together pretty much. We grew up in this sport together. So, um, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of experience there. So like now... There's a confidence that I have and there's a confidence that she has in her. She knows I'm prepared. She comes and watches. We always do my last hard workout that they, they, they'll come and watch. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and I think that's good for her to see. So, so she can go in there and, ah, oh, he's ready. He's oh. fit. Look at him. You know what I mean? That's a confidence. That's like, he goes, I've seen him do that before and I've seen him dominate because he was prepared. They can watch and, uh, and know that I'm prepared. You know what I mean? I think that helps. And I think through uh, going through this career, uh, together, I think uh, she deals with it with it a lot a lot better. Whether she does that to protect me and mm. tells me that because she protects me, I don't know. But uh, she deals with it. She tells me she deals with it. She says she does get a little nervous here and there, but um, but like she's uh, getting much better with it. But, like at the end of the day, her being not nervous and and all that that's not gonna that's not gonna make me fight better or, or worse. You know what I mean? In the cage. Yeah. The feelings that she's doing now is, uh, you know, I know that's not a good way of putting it because at the end of the day, it's got nothing to do with the way she's feeling. But, you know, her uh, worrying, her worrying about something ain't going to help me. You know what I mean? So, uh, but, but you know, still, at the end of like, the day, I, I, it's, I, it's hard to say that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like like, like she loves like you. Like, she she exactly loves right. you. She cares for you. She, you know, it must not be easy to see your, your partner going through what you have to go through like i know she can she can say that you're prepared and stuff but it's probably a better question for her to be honest Mm -hmm. than you it is probably it is because again she might be telling me something to protect me yeah uh to to not put weight on my shoulders knowing that she's scared when i go in there i don't know that 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 could be a totally different answer but i mean she she tells me and she deals with it obviously you know she'll feel some things here and there um but like, you know, she's uh, definitely getting much better with it. You know, obviously she's going to be nervous. Uh, you know what I mean? But I think she, uh, even just the way I am, it, like, you know, we have a lot of conversations about it. And when she tells me she gets nervous, she's worrying about something and then I have ways of dealing with things myself. So and I, I try and, re, you know, regurgitate that to her. I try and explain that to her and what I do and things like that. And maybe we uh, both give it, get an understanding of how we can deal with it a bit better. 
Maybe I have helped her that way, or maybe she's just telling me that to protect <laughs> me. I don't know. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights, and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy, and peace and love.